Good morning, Gear 6. It is Wednesday, the 8th of July, and today we are converting metric measures. So let's have a look. So our first question, match the item to the most appropriate unit of measurement. Key words that we have, appropriate and unit of measurement. Okay, so they are our key words that we need to focus on today. So weight of a sack of potatoes. So we've got here various measures that to do with distance, with length, weight, and volume. Okay, so a weight of a sack of potatoes. A sack is pretty heavy, and it's a weight. So I'm going to go with kilograms to start with. The volume of a glass of water. So volume straight away gives it away. Glass of water, not massive, but not really small. A length of a park, that's quite large. So I'm going to go with meters. The length of a finger, probably going to go with centimeters. The weight of an apple, going to go with grams. The volume of water in a bucket, well that's more than the volume of water in a glass. That's a liter. And the length of an ant's leg, well, that's milliliter, millimeter. Sorry. Next question. Henry has, Harry has filled in a table after converting from centimetres to metres. Is his table correct? Explain why. So his centimetres, they're all correct. But let's have a look. 3.2 metres. Is that correct? Is that 302 centimetres? Well, 3.2 would be 320. So that's not correct. So that should look like 3.02 meters. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. 1,204 centimeters, 12.4 centimeters. So let's write that out, centimeters. Well, that's different. He should have written, let's have a look, 12.04 meters. And the last one. 4,305 centimetres, 43.5 metres. This is what he's written. 4,350. Well, that's different. Centimetres. So he should have written 43.05 metres. So what's his clear mistake? Can you see what his mistake is? So he has removed the zero thinking it's a placeholder every time after the decimal. But it makes a massive difference between 3.2 metres and 3.02, the difference of 18 centimetres in the distance only gets larger between as the numbers get bigger. So that zero after the decimal point and another number is vitally important as a placeholder. You can have a look at the video today that will help you with your learning. Hello there and welcome back. Today we have a look at converting something called a metric measure. But before we do that, we've got some prefixes, a bit of an English test for us before we get started. So, we've got three prefixes here. Do you know any about any of them? Do you recognise any of them at all? We well, might know about milli. Milli means 1,000. Centi means 100th. And kilo means 1,000. Difference between a kilo and milli. So we represent a milli as 1 over 1,000. Centi, whatever it is, has been 1 over 100. And then a kilo is a 1,000 of that thing. That's quite helpful to know these things. So let's take that milli. So at the moment, we've just got the prefix milli. But let's put a rest of the word after it. So we've got the millimetre. So, a millimetre we can think of being is a one thousandth of a metre. So, one millimetre is one thousandth of a metre. Or, as a decimal, 0 0.001 metres. Let's change that word now. So we had millimetre before. Now we've got millilitre. 
that means it's one thousandth of a litre. And we can write that as one over a thousand litres. Or not point not not one litres. So let's think about this conversion. We've gone from millimetres to metres. And we talked about milli being a thousandth of a metre. So if I wanted to convert millimetres to metres, I could divide whatever it was by a thousand. And similarly, if I wanted to convert a unit that was in metres into millimetres, I could multiply it by a thousand. Millilitres to litres. Same thing. I could divide it by a thousand to convert millilitres to litres. And if I had a unit that was in litres, I could times it by a thousand to convert it into millilitres. Let's put that into practice then. So you've got a conversion chart to help you here. Can you convert between millimetres and metres? Pause the video, have a go for yourself. Let's have a look at the first one. Well, currently it's in millimetres, two millimetres in fact. So looking at our graph, we can see that actually, because we're going from millimetres to metres, we need to divide by a thousand. And two divided by a thousand is 0 0.002 metres. What about the next one? We're looking at two metres, and we want to convert that into millimetres. So I'll be going from metres to millimetres, so I need to multiply by a thousand. So the calculation would be two times one thousand, which is two thousand millimetres. The next one, fifty millimetres, so I need to divide it by a thousand, which should be 0 0.05. And then metres to millimetres, I would times by a thousand. So I could think about 0 0.5 times a thousand, or half of a thousand, as 500 millimetres. So those we just worked out from millimetres to metres. If you notice on the right now, we've got millilitres to litres. So what will stay the same? What will change? Let's think about our conversions. We went from millimetres to metres because milli means a thousandth. I divided by a thousand. And millilitres to litres, I divided by a thousand. So actually... I'm doing the same processes, even though it's millimetres and metres and millilitres and litres. So actually, the answer to the first one, well, two millimetres to metres and two millilitres to litres, well, I'm just changing the unit. It's just going to be the same. In fact, they're all going to be the same. All I'm doing is just changing the unit. So then, we've got another unit introduced here. We've introduced centi. We've got centimetres and centilitres. Now, in order to convert from millimetres to centimetres, we need to think of the relationship between the two of them. A millimetre was a thousandth of a metre. A centimetre is a hundredth of a metre. How many times larger is a centimetre than a millimetre? Well, it would be 10 times larger. So to convert from millimetres to centimetres, I would divide by 10. And from centimetres to millimetres, I would multiply by 10. What about from centimetres to metres? Well, centi meaning a hundredth. So I would divide by a hundred. And then other way around, so from metres to centimetres, I'd multiply by 100. And then, similar for the millimetres to centimetres, I've still got this multiply and divide by 10 relationship, exactly the same as I had between millimetres and centimetres, and then centimetres and metres. So then, well, you can use the charts if you want to help you, but can you convert these units? Pause the video, have a go for yourself. Let's have a look at the first one. Currently, it's three metres. And we want to know what that would be equivalent to in centimetres. 
So from metres to centimetres, we need to multiply by 100. So it would be 300 centimetres. The next one is the opposite way around. It's 305 centimetres, but we want it in metres. So we need to divide by 100, which would be 3.05 metres. The next one, from metres to millimetres, we can see we need to multiply by 1,000, which would be 305. And the last one, 305 metres into centimetres, well, I need to multiply by 100, which would be 30,500. What about litres and millilitres? Well, 2 litres is 2,000 millilitres. We've got 0.35 litres, so we'd have to multiply that by 100 to convert that into centilitres, which is 35 centilitres. We've got 1.01 litres. How many millilitres is that equivalent to? Well, we could multiply that by 1,000, which would be 1,010. And at last, we've got 550 millilitres, which is equivalent to 55 centilitres. We're going to introduce a new unit here. A large car might weigh around two tonnes. Now, this word tonnes... It's got a specific name for it in metric. We know a tonne is equivalent to a thousand kilograms. So let's think about these conversions. We've got grams, kilograms and tonnes. We know from before that one tonne was equivalent to a thousand kilograms. And we know that one kilogram is equivalent to a thousand grams. So the opposite way around we need to think about dividing. So if we were converting grams to kilograms, we divide by a thousand, and kilograms to tons, we divide by a thousand as well. So can you work these out then? Pause the video, have a go for yourself. So the first one then. Well, three kilograms in grams will be 3,000. 2,500 grams is 2.5 kilograms, or 2.500 if you've not taken off those zeros, which you don't need. 200 grams would be equivalent to, well, if I divide that by 1,000, would be 0.2 kilograms. What about converting in tonnes? Well, three tonnes, how many kilograms? Well, one tonne is 1,000, two tonnes is 2,000, so, ah, three tonnes is 3,000. 4,500 kilograms. Well, that's 4.5 tonnes. And then the last one, 55,000 kilograms. Well, if I divide that by 1,000, it would be 55 tonnes. So, pause the video, have a go at the worksheet if you've got it, but don't worry if you don't, there's material on the BBC Bite Size website. Okay, so you've had the video sent to you, so hopefully you have got that with a sheet as well. Also, don't forget to have a go at your learning by questions.